All right, guys, let's get into this. Have you been looking for a project that resembled your favorite childhood game back in the 2000s, The Sims? You guys remember that? The only aspect that The Sims were missing, aside from how realistic everything felt, especially playing with your peers, was the ability to actually get paid for playing it. Well, Metapolitan's I.O., upcoming pre-sale, has the answer to that. And not only is this just all talk, but they actually have progress being made on developing their metaverse. We are going to get into this and see exactly what they got going on, how it's going to coordinate with the pre-sale, and how the tokens are going to play a big role in participating within this ecosystem. Let's get into this. Now, before I begin, guys, please do me a favor and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, guys. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell for me, please. And thank you. So, guys, we did talk about Metapolitans just about a month ago. And now it seems that their pre-sale, public pre-sale, is about four more weeks away, a little less than that. Now, these guys have been working on a lot of things behind the scenes. And first things first, I'd like to preference by saying that I have partnered with Metapolitans for the month to be following week by week on the progress leading up to the pre-sale. And I must admit, these guys for a new project that's about to roll out have been doing it the right way. These guys have been doing things in such a methodical and organized manner. They got started on the metaverse itself already began the production of everything and then they decided to start incorporating the marketing leading up to the pre-sale and now i do have their medium open up right over here we're gonna go dive into that in just a little bit and we're gonna go look at glimpses of what they got going on and explain more about it for you guys right here guys let's take a quick glimpse of what it's looking like so far in the metaverse so guys right off the bat we can already see the resemblance in like the new 3d 2020s edition of what the sims was you can create your own character various different type of styles fashion whatever you're into you can incorporate this in this metaverse and as you can see we already have different stores locations a game meta right down there on that block already being developed and it looks like you're in a big metropolitan area as well street signs taxis billboards digital billboards Barrier store, it's its own community. And what's gonna be good about this, guys, is that because it's a metaverse, everybody that you're gonna be seeing are gonna be actual real life people. Now, guys, here is the pre-sale link right over here on their Twitter page just five days ago. Now we're gonna go touch into the medium because I was looking through this, guys, and we're gonna go dive into what's gonna make Metapolitans such a cool project rolling out that I myself am interested in seeing how this plays out because it might even catch me roaming around in that metaverse myself now looking all, you know what I'm talking about. Let's get into this, guys. So number one, they emphasize on having an elevated gaming experience. Now, this is not just your typical play to earn game. This is going to be playing a more heavier emphasis on the social gaming aspect of things, because that's what it's all about throughout this last decade. Social gaming, not just gaming for the sake of gaming. We have a lot of that as it is. Metapolitans is going to allow people to earn maps. Now, this is going to be their token system, right? Through engaging in activities like creating, sharing content or even completing tasks. So in other words, in this metaverse, they're going to do things to keep you busy and to make sure that you're going to be working for the payments that you're going to be receiving real life money, guys. Now, having this type of ownership is going to be boosting the user engagement, and they're really trying to create an entire dynamic and thriving economy inside of this metaverse. Now, touching a little more on how they want to enhance the social aspect in this type of gaming. They want to allow users to explore, create and engage with other people in different ways. And this platform is encouraging the diversity in the online community and having collaborations and connections. So what that means to me is that I'm sure that you can also collab with your friends, with different people that you meet, and you guys can all come together and just try and hustle together and profit off of the maps token and just run it up. Why not? Now, touching a little more on the maps token, how you're actually going to be getting paid in here. Well, monetizing in-game transactions and interactions they are going to be offering people the potential of earning real money by participating in the metaverse now with the maps token like any other token you can convert that into real world currency now maps is how you're going to be getting paid through the various things that you do within the metaverse so the way that things are sounding to me right now with this project is that right now all cards are off the table literally anything can take place in this metaverse and the fact 
that they're going to be playing a stronger role on the social aspect. Personally, for me, I like games that feel like real life. I'm a huge fan of GTA. That's pretty much the only game I play. Anyway, when I was younger, I loved The Sims. I loved games that emulated real life. The only thing that just didn't keep you always on there was there wasn't no real life benefits from participating in those games. It was fun to play, fun to roll with your friends, fun to meet other people, but there wasn't as much of a grabber that you can take from that once you log off the game. And Metapolitans is providing that by combining the tokens to be used in a play to earn metaverse system now right over here guys this is a clip of how it actually looks entering into different buildings that are still in development remember guys this is still the developmental stages all down to even selecting the exact elevator button and the floor that you want to be on so that means that these guys are really working hard in the architectural side of this as well because now there's a bunch of different floors you can be on to now what else could you do could you possibly own different offices maybe create it your own maybe they're gonna add a twist so you can add your own type of furniture things and i'm just throwing ideas out there there's nothing confirmed as of yet but if they already have this much developed and they haven't even came out with their pre-sale yet what are all the features that are going to be available once this entire thing is fully out and rolling now check this one out right here guys talking about how to earn money already we already see a casino here they got different slot machines i see different tables so it's, i think it's gonna look real cool when we start seeing the dealers there maybe we can play some blackjack some folks want to play some poker roulette who knows right that right there could be a shortcut on how to just earn some more tokens right there and now look at the different type of designs that they have and this is guys this is not even the beta and we're already seeing this level of detail into the project look at the animation of the train coming into the frame the car in the distance i was driving on the highway guys this is an entire city that we're seeing and this really could be a game changer and oh whoa, what is this you can swim in the metaverse as well breaking barriers i'm excited to see it now let's see how this is all gonna play out with that being said folks thank you so much for tuning in guys i'm jazz royce and like i always said i'm gonna catch each and every one of you guys at the top